Hey everybody, Model Man here with another installment on the blower fan. What I've been finding is there's some really good suction on this thing. It's a really good blower. You can get pretty far away and it's still going to be getting around 50% or better of the airflow. That's a solid foot right above directly. So some of it goes away, but a lot of it gets captured back again. I have discovered one major issue though. And that is while jury rigging two of these uh, four inch pipes going out is fine, it turns out the air sta the, the static air pressure along the entire length running all the way up to the window is too much for even two vents and what happens is the air starts getting kicked out right in this area here the longer these tubes get so uh, that's definitely something I have to factor I, for, for version 2 of the booth I will be replacing this with a single 6 inch or an 8 inch duct and uh, that will require rebuilding this entire thing because it's based on having two regular box fans and a four inch duct up there so the cross boards would be no good on this thing but I could use the two end boards but if I do that I may as well go to a six inch depth because this is four inch right there and the fan just barely sits uh, over the lip so I'd rather have that sitting inside but maybe can use it around the house somewhere else, we'll see. However, version two, a few hundred dollars away. And as this is working right now, let's step up to 428. Still very nice. However, start extending either or both of these ducts. Oh, and don't ever bother trying to handle these because they're worse than freaking slinkies once they get loose. So uh, this one is about 10 feet maybe. And we still got suction going on there. Let's bring this one out. Uh, now we got kickback going on. So I wonder if that's because that's the top one and that should be the shortest and the bottom one could handle a longer length. Yeah, but the kickback is happening right in this area here. Aimed out this way. Right along this path right here actually. It's just a little cone of air coming straight out, but everywhere else that air is getting sucked down. That makes me think that I uh, may be able to just call that a dead spot for airbrushing when I'm working and work around it. However, I really need to see that on the board tested out and potentially I could baffle this as well if that's the case. So let me try and wrangle uh, these back into place and we'll start the test again. And now with the top fully retracted and the bottom fully extended, suction is still doing really good but there is a little kickback right in this area here, a very small window. Right above it, full suction right on the sides of it right there huh and even right beyond it somehow I see I just wasn't looking at the right boundary so it's still a sizable area overall and too much so I will have to minimize the length on each of these and uh, 
that could be tough. That could be very tough. And so for the moment what I'll do is finally install the fan into the tabletop and uh, I do have to put a little more caulk around the edges here first because there's a bit of an air leak right there specifically but I think everything else is doing well and I'm really glad to see that the caulk is holding. I had actually moved this uh, early on and hey it's nice to see how easily this peels off too. Anyhow, I had messed it up a little, so I got to go in and fix that mess up and uh, make sure everything else is good. There's the slightest, tiniest, littlest bit of air that comes from here, but I don't know that it would be worth permanently sealing with caulk or if there's another option. I may even be able to just clamp it now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Clamping might be more than enough. So let me get this installed and I'll see what's up.